you have an appointment? Well, sort of. I wanted to be last time on the telephone. I said I, I'd be here at 8.30 tonight. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm late. Well, you're nearly on time, but uh, we, we weren't expecting you. You weren't expecting me? Mm. Maybe you're not ready now. Not at all. I'm perfectly free. Look, it isn't your fault. The girl on the telephone just forgot to tell us you were coming, that's all. Now, what should we do? I don't know. I don't know how to dance at all. Have you ever had lessons of any kind? In school, they taught the steps by numbers. <laughs> and you have a number then. What number? Well, we don't have any numbers here, but uh, if you have any ability to dance, we'll find it and we'll develop it. Now, what's your name? Barry. Barry? Beverly Barry. Uh -huh. Is that uh, Miss? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just come this way. Sure. 
Gosh. I could even get you a break on the price. Oh, you mustn't. Oh, I'd like to. What do you say? Gosh, I, I wasn't planning on taking a whole lot of lessons. I thought I'd just learn a little. Well, you see, you didn't know you were such a natural dancer. That's the way life is. You find out something about yourself, and then you have to change your plans. I'm going to learn to be a very good dancer. Okay. How do you sign these papers? Read your schedule. Okay. Right here. How's Wednesday at six? Fine. See you on Wednesday. Fine. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wise guy. You know you shouldn't have done that. You'll get your commission. You should have let me handle that. Frank, you were busy. You know what would have happened if you'd spoken to her the way you do the others? You'd have gotten scared and walked out. Took me half an hour to loosen her up. Maybe we don't want to encourage that kind of people to come around here. That kind could be plenty of trouble. She'll be all right. She might become a life member. If it bothers you, I won't do it again. This morning, Miss Bear. How old is that, Mona? That's not a very sturdy type of. Mm. I'm sorry. I am in a especially good mood. I had fun while you were out yesterday. Oh, uh, I got all. I got all the, the work done. But I went shopping at lunchtime, and I met a scientist who designs rocket ships. Uh, and at night, someone else took me dancing. I don't know when I've had so much fun. No, Miss Bear, you're a very lively person. You had me fooled at first. Oh, and I remembered to get to order a new box of envelopes. We were running out. I'm going to miss Alice. Miss her? I'm going to stop. I just don't make any progress. No. You're catching on beautifully now. In fact, you're my favorite student, do you know that? Besides, the dance party is coming up next month. You don't want to miss that, would you? I'm lonely sometimes. <laughs> I'll see you at your place and we'll talk about it then. What's with her? She wanted to quit. Frank, could you have somebody fill in for me, please? I, uh, told her that I'd come up to her apartment. On company time. You don't want to lose a customer. Anyway, what about fringe benefits? She'll wait. You've got work to do in here. Hello. Miss Harris, I'd like to read Mr. Dive. How do you do? I'm going to help you with that special instruction. Come on, I'll talk to you. Uh, Frank tells me you've been having a little trouble. Mm -hmm. Well, not exactly. I wanted to learn the pachanga. Thank you. 
I've never been in Europe. Never? Well, I'll go there someday. Why didn't you tell me that? That's the first thing you've ever told me about yourself. <laughs> it's your birthday. A little bit of truth for our present. That's very gracious of you. No, I mean it. You don't often tell the truth, do you? I don't either. You know how old I was today? Forty-five. That's the truth. And you know something else? I'm not going to live forever. Are you? You've been nice to me. I shouldn't make you feel bad. But you tell me lies. And that is not fair. How do you know they're lies? Why don't you marry me? That's not a fair question. You can't answer it, can you? You don't want to get married. Why not? I'm going to be old soon, Stephen. I don't want to end up alone. I'm not ready. Why not? I'm not, that's all. Oh, don't worry, I wouldn't. I just wanted to see you squirm a little. Nobody makes me squirm. Thank you. 
world in itself. Still, it's just temporary. So, being alive, plenty temporary. Steve, I know what you do. You're teaching middle-aged women how to dance. Doesn't sound very inspiring to me. Well, name something inspiring. Whatever you name, I do it. We make people happy. How long do they stay happy? As long as they believe in it. Keep coming to us. And paying. And paying? They get a full value. You make it sound like a public service. If we didn't take care of these people, somebody would have to. Hey, Steve. You really believe all this? What do you think? being carefree as I told you I was. But I wasn't really lying. Because when I'm with you, I really feel that way. You're the first person since I was a little girl and used to play with my father. The first person who really paid any attention to me. And you're so handsome, and graceful, and makes me afraid. Because I'm clumsy, and you must know it, even if you say I'm not. I think you must be in love with me. Or else you wouldn't say such lovely things to me. And I know they're not so. like me.
city, isn't it? I love it. I think it's the most beautiful city in the world, don't you? Beat Scranton. Is that where you're from? You never talk about yourself. You made me tell you everything about myself. Not everything. Everything that's worth knowing. All right, what else do you want to know? Ask me anything. Why did you kiss me? No, don't tell me. I haven't kissed many people. Can you tell? I liked it when you kissed me. Can you tell that too? Mm-hmm. Thank you for kissing me. I can't believe you're real. You know what I'd like to do? What? I'd like to walk home with you holding your arm around my waist. All right. Is that silly? No. Can we go now? Okay. It's nice spending an evening like this for a change. Makes you feel free. Gosh, I just keep talking. I'm sorry. You look so tired. No, it's a mess. Uh, another time when I have it cleaned up, okay? Please? Okay. Come tomorrow at noon, I'll make a picnic, okay? I 
just can't believe it's all real. You're so good. Don't mind me, I just go on. You take things very seriously, don't you? I'm sorry the rain spoiled your picnic. I spent all last night fixing things. If you go to a movie, what would you like to have? If you would. Whatever you want to do. I just want to be with you. Stay here. You uh, have a plan, Kurt? You stay here. And I'll go down to the drugstore so and get some And be tired in the plan.
in my hometown, they just wouldn't understand. You want me to be quiet, don't you, so you can sleep? You go ahead and talk if you want. But I want to do whatever you want. You have to tell me everything that pleases you. Teach me to make love so I can please you. I 
Am I hungry?
Yeah, I'm not great, Adi. Yeah, I'm sore. No. Look, I'm only trying to do what a friend is supposed to. You come dropping in late at night without warning. I figure you must want something. You know what you want? This one takes three months and it has a stop in the heat. Is it absolutely essential that you stop into eating? Yeah. Is that another one? That's where my husband and I met. It's so beautiful. Have you ever been there? No. Oh, that's a shame. I wish I had time to tell you about it. I could tell you so many beautiful things. I want to do better than anybody else. Well, you are. No. 
I've got just like everybody, I mean, more so. It's not true. You are better, I can tell. You just don't believe in yourself enough. What do I want you to do now? means love? Sure. Beverly, you're such an innocent. How much do you know about me? You come from Scranton, and you're kind, and I love you. Beverly, Beverly, Beverly. You're crazy. Beautiful with your hair down like that. And I love to touch you. Hold you. There's a lot of love in you, isn't there? Yes. And there's a lot of love in me, and you bring it out. I want to. What haven't I told you? So many things. Now, there's one thing I want to see if you've noticed. That you love me? I do, Beverly. I love you. Thank you. 
such a little thing. Why make such a fuss about it then? Why are you making a fuss? I happen to have a reason. What do I have? You have a fancy for playing a little game. Let's stop kidding. Forget about the dance studio. It's fun. Let's sit for a while. I think people who try to recapture the past can make a mistake. It's just a dancing lesson. Things can't always be the way we'd like them to be. I know that, but that doesn't mean you can't be happy. I'm talking about seeing things as they are, at least sometimes. Otherwise, you can get hurt. This is special. Do me a favor. Forget about the studio. You make it sound like a good mystery. I know what I'll find. It's like turning on the television and seeing the movie you've seen before. But you know what you're going to see. Didn't you ever notice things you didn't see the first time? This is different. It's all such a short time ago. It's not really so long ago. It's more like right now. You know what's going on right now? Your first dancing lesson? It's a happy memory. And it'd be so lovely for it to happen all over again and keep on happening. Stephen, why make such a big thing of it? You could make things nice for me. How? Just pretend a little. I'm not very good at pretending. I suddenly lost the knack. That's not what's bothering you. No, of course not. I could play a little game like that. The fact is, I lied to her. I didn't expect anything like falling in love. I told her all kinds of stuff about how wonderful she was. We tell all our customers the same stuff. Now she treasures those lies. Is that so terrible? Do you lie to your wife? Well, Steve, there are degrees. Uh, there are little white lies, flattery. I'm sure, everybody lies a little. Yeah, but she's building everything on it. I get the feeling that she'll never really know me. She just wants to believe in daydreams. Maybe you're exaggerating. Maybe you're feeling a little guilty about seducing her. Uh, I love her. I just wanted to understand what happened. Steve, why don't you tell her? It's not that simple. You love me and I love you. Sounds simple to me. What would you do? If somebody came to you and told you something terrible about me. I wouldn't believe it. Well, what if he proved it? You mean if it was true? Then you wouldn't be you. And I'd be different too. That's why I'm glad you're you and I'm me. You wouldn't love me if I was sad and loopy all the time, would you? Of course I would. No, tell the truth. You must always tell the truth. You wouldn't, would you? Don't be sad. I'm glad you're not all gloomy and upset anymore. Here's a present. Now you say it again. What's the matter? When I got out of the army, I didn't want to go right back to one of those great big office buildings. I wanted time to look around. I 
year ago, I started teaching dancing. I wanted to quit. But I never could figure out what to do next. It sort of paralyzed me. Let me finish. One day, I came in for a lesson. And we fell in love. It broke the spell. Now you can go wherever you want. And I'll follow you. I think it's a sweet story. Why don't you listen to it my way? Not now. You'll be late for work. Everything's going to be fine, you'll see. I can't make it today. I want you to take my lesson with Miss Barry, please. Would you? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll be in tomorrow. Bye. Steve didn't come tonight. 
Otherwise, I wouldn't have had a chance to meet you. You know, most of the people who come around here just can't dance. But you're different. You've got real natural ability. It's nice of you to say that. Look, will you meet me tonight after I finish? What's the matter? Nothing. Right. How about it? I can't. Sure you can. You can do anything you want to. You think so? I know so. I can tell the minute you walked in that door. Think it over a minute. Come, there's time for just one more dance. studio. For four hours? I looked in some shop windows. I was worried. You didn't need to. What's the matter? I think you know. Pretty things you told me. Just like a phonograph record, he said them. I told myself it's a joke. Stephen is playing a joke. But it hurt. I didn't want to hurt you. You're the last person in the world I want to hurt. Stephen, do you understand? I just don't know what to do. that you didn't have any idea what really happened. I would have listened. You would have been hurt. Give them a little time. Things will seem better tomorrow. You expect me to just smile and go on thinking you're the most wonderful person in the world now? You know what you are? You're just someone who tricked me into bed with him. You know I really love you, Beverly. The only love we had was a lot of pretending. And I'm through pretending. I've stopped pretending a long time ago. I try all the trouble.
I wish it could be yesterday again. It didn't all of a sudden. Of course I'm different. I'm not so sweet and innocent and, and stupid anymore. I don't think you're Prince Charming anymore. I don't love you anymore, Stephen. Could I have the whistle back? The one I gave you that Sunday, remember? I like breaking up. Please. It is. Thank <laughs> you.